Okay, this is the live unboxing of my Epiphone uh, Joe Bonamassa in Pelham Blue, being on order uh, here in the UK with Andertons for five months. Um, and everybody's waiting in a number of countries, I think, for uh, delivery of theirs. I can only think that the Chinese factory that uh, over there make them in one gigantic bunch. So this is uh, one of a limited edition, uh, strictly limited to the number they can sell. I suspect that must be um, getting on for three or four thousand by now. Anyway, let's see what happens. Um, I did this once before and found that the guitar had been damaged in transit. Um, so we'll all get a surprise, won't we? Uh, let's just break into it. Without further more ado. Work is played this morning by Jack White and his band. Box number two. Just remove polythene bag. Number one. I'm going to start the roll of the drums now. <clears throat> so, well. This is nice. I do have um, the Epiphone Joel Bonamassa gold top. It's actually down here on the floor. There, that brown box. There, lying underneath that Gibson case. Um, so, later on we'll do a little comparison. So let's, let's see how this one looks. Oops, not the video stand over in my excitement. Well, here she is. What a lovely smell. Grover machine heads. Dubri of polystyrene to protect the switch. Equipped with Gibson pickups. Okay, protective film over there as usual. Next, headstock still attached to the neck. I did have a delivery once where, oh, you can't see that, can you? There we go. I did have a delivery once of a guitar and uh, the whole thing was broken off just here. Okay, let's stop. Yammering on, let's uh, get the, the video camera off the stand and we'll show you some close ups. Right, here she is in all the glory. This is uh, some natural light and artificial light as well because it's a bit of a dull day. Well, that's a, a very nice pal and blue, isn't it? whatever Pelham is. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely a metallic, metallic finish. No guitar porn would be complete without some lurid close-ups. I'm facing the window now, so this is in um, full on natural light. Let's see what the neck's like. Okay, chunky. And it really, yeah, feels about the same as my Bonamassa Gold Top. Yeah. And I do play that quite a bit, so I usually like fairly thin necks. Um, over here, 
in that case is a Gibson Paul Frampton signature model uh, with a very slim neck, lots of fun to play. Um, but I do play my Bonamassa Gold Top quite a bit, um, and although it's chunky, I wouldn't say it's thick. I felt thicker, I felt thicker necks. So don't worry if you want to buy one of these and um, you like, like me probably, medium. Well, it's not medium, it is on the thick end, but it's not baseball bat, it's not cool, bloody hell. I don't like that kind of thing. So that's cool. That's cool. Sounded like one of those American guitar videos there. I should have started, hey dudes! Oh, highly punished back there. No dings that I can see. Very nice indeed. For all you serial number spotters, there's the serial number. Drop that down in your book. Um, usual stickers there. Turn around again. Let's try setting it down over here and then you try and get a, a broader shot. Make sure it doesn't fall over. Oh, it's reflecting a lot of the red off that carpet now. Hang on. Mm, now it's gone too sunny outside. I'm just, try <laughs> I'm just trying <laughs> to let you try to see how the guitar looks to my eyes here. Well, this is a video camera, so it's going to render colours. But that's a, that looks pretty realistic. Um, it's a kind of blue with a slight smidgen of green, maybe. Or is that my old eyes? I don't know. Anyway, it looks pretty good. Feels nice. Fairly heavy. I'd say that's mm, eight and a half pounds, maybe over. Let's see what we got in the old compartment here. So cardboard wallety thing like I had with my Bonamassa build top. Now oh, here's the number. And a Joe Bonamassa signature. And you get the usual stuff you get with that hmm. Epiphone. The daily Epiphone. Um, I don't know why they always give you a sticker. Allen key. Strap locks. Silica gel. Case key. And that's it. Stick all that back in. Oh god, the smells divine. <laughs> and uh, I'll try and do some more shots of the guitar itself. Kind of seems to take on the colour of whatever's in the background. And I've got this red through, so let me try and put it somewhere else for you. Well, here they are together. 
the two Joe Bonamassas. Ooh. And very nice too. Yeah, I shall probably take the pit guard off the Pelham Blue. Sorry guys for all you who like to keep the pit guards on, but to me a Les Paul is, is a Les Paul without a pit guard. And there we are, personal preference. Very nice indeed. If I do say so myself. Well, uh, I'll sign off now because I'm going to get this uh, new acquisition up to my usual guitar tech and get it thoroughly set up. I mean the action at the moment on it is a nightmare and it's pretty well certainly it's got tens on. I like to play with nines. The action on this is just beautiful and I don't know if you can see but all the frets have been nicely polished and any little edges taken off. Um, they also set the intonation check the neck, put a wee bit of relief in, etc, etc. So, there it is, the Joe Bonamassa Pelham Blue, um, received today, ordered last May. Um, good luck to all you guys who've uh, invested in one, um, and I hope you don't have to wait too much longer. Um, bye for now, but I'll do another one, another video, when uh, I can plug this baby in, and when it gets back from the Guitar Tech, and um, See if I can demonstrate some sounds for you. Until then, bye.